Hey, how's it going, everyone? This is Kilpa Gamer again. Hey, in this video, I'm gonna show you how and where to get the Elgato HD60 Pro driver for your Windows. This one is for uh, Windows 8 and this website right here. And then there's also uh, another link on their website where you can get uh, older versions of Windows, like Windows 7, uh, you know, and, and, and below for your Elgato. And this step here is just a simple, you know, I don't think there's no explanation necessary, but uh, it's uh, installing. Uh, install the game capture <coughs> into my PC. And also to note, uh, the new game capture software will install sound capture as well. This is for Windows 7, the old version. If you don't have Windows 8. But anyway, it's kind of self-explanatory. Just go to that website. Okay, now, in order to stop the echoes and the reverbs, just click on that mute button so that it is muted. Uh, that's pretty much it. Or click on that uh, monitor looking thing above the mute button. Uh, and it will cut out the it will cut out the uh, the reverb echoes, and you can turn the volume up all the way and start recording, and it'll be great. You won't have any echoes anymore. Um, now here, this is my settings for the game capture. This is what I go with to capture the videos that uh, I'm going to be capturing when I'm playing the video game, and also. Uh, make sure enable flashback recording is unchecked as well. That's caused echoes also for me, but I unchecked that and the echo went away. And uh, with these settings here, you should be able to get pretty good 1080p uh, high resolution uh, video game recordings. And then be able to uh, import it and make your videos. Here is a bonus is, uh, of the game capture from the Elgato HD60 Pro that I <clears throat> that uh, it took of me playing this game called Minion Masters. The way to get this is you have to be like a, a kickstart backer for one of their games, which I did. And um, because of that, they gave me this free Steam key version to unlock and play this game. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool. It's, uh, it's, it's like a cross between Tower Defense, uh, Magic the Gathering, and a little bit of kind of like League of Legends character gameplay, but you don't really necessarily control them. But uh, you start out on your on the left side. Uh, there's about six or seven or eight champions you can pick. The one I'm picking right now has the crossbow, so and the other guy has the crossbow too. So he there's one type of champion, and the object is to uh, the mana generates. And you'll see that. <clears throat> uh, right, uh, right there, the mana will generate, and then each of these cards, when a certain amount of numbers pop up, like five, it takes five mana, then you can cast that and put it anywhere on the screen on your side, and basically your object is to go and attack and bring down the hit points of the champion's castle or the building or whatever it is, down to zero and you win. So it takes a little bit of strategy also as well to play this game. Start out. I think it was the stone uh, level, and it goes down like uh, all the way. Like it goes. Start, well, the rank starts going up. And right now, I am a, I believe, a ruby level. And I just progressed to silver. I think silver level. And each each level has five. Has also five sub levels. And to get to each promotion of each level within that level, you have to gain experience points for every win. So. When you first start out, you will earn a, a high amount of XP, but if you lose and you come back and you have to go back to that level again, you earn a lower amount of XP to progress. See, right now I am the bronze level uh, in this one, so this video is kind of um, a little past due, but this is the game right here. It's pretty cool. Check it out. Until then, I'll talk to you again later, okay? Well, you found this uh, helpful. Bye-bye.